One of the most common inquiries regarding the Rack Functioner software is how to set up macros. There are several advantages of using macros in gaming. It reduces the possibility of human error. It helps you perform effectively and efficiently, and of course, with less effort. No time to practice that combo? Don't worry, let's macro! To create your own macro, click Macro Editor. Under Macro List, right-click the box and select New Macro. Enter any name you like. Let's name this Jump Crouch Test. In this test, I will be removing the delay. Uncheck Automatic Recording Time Delay. And Cycle Times is set to 1. Hit Record and press the Jump and Crouch key which is for me is my Space and Control key. Click Record and hit Save. Apply this macro to a button by clicking on one of the keys on the virtual keyboard. Click Macro and select the desired macros. Unfortunately, this doesn't work on PUBG. If any of you guys know how to make it work, please share it in the comments section. After spending hours of experimenting on creating different macro setups, I've found out an alternative solution for this. You just have to assign a key to perform both functions. Simply press space for your jump and C for your crouch action. But the simplest way is to bind shift and spacebar to the secondary keybind in-game. This is just to showcase the key assignment of the software. On our third test, we will make an unlimited combination of kicks and punches by just pressing one key. We'll name this Combo Test. This time, we will select Cycle until the key released, meaning that the macro starts when you hit it, and it doesn't stop until you release it. Now start record and press combination keys. Lastly, we will assign a key as dedicated multimedia keys. Simply click a key, click media, and select desired function. It's Shyamine here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe just for fun. Till next time, God bless.